All right, hey nerds. So I'm going to talk about my arguable fact that, well, it's not my argument, but the arguable fact that math is not real and math is not reality. And I'm talking about this theoretical physicist and science YouTuber, or physics YouTuber, Sabine Hassenfelder, her opinion of this, that math is not actually reality, which reminded me of some philosophy that I've talked about in relation to it. So let's get into the clip. I'd say we've gotten very far with mathematics. Yeah. And again, I would just carefully say it's been very useful to describe our observations. Mm. Does it actually capture what reality is? Well, I don't know. Mm. I don't think that's a question we'll ever be able to answer. Like the only thing we can do. That's a, like just right, just right there. That's interesting. Will we be, ever be able to figure out the true nature, the entire true nature of reality? No, like not even just with math. Can we even ever figure out the true nature of reality? Can we not even can we use science and math to figure out the nature of reality? But is it even possible to figure out the true nature of reality? I'm not sure that we ever will. But if we do, that would be pretty cool. And but yeah, I mean, the, the idea that we can seems to reflect this idea of faith in science, aka scientism, which is what someone like the militant atheist Sam Harris says, uh, which is that, you know, science is amazing, is going to solve all of our problems and can give us moral values. And yeah, like, is it even possible to figure out the universe? I don't know. I kind of doubt it. And if we can figure out the true nature of the universe, will math be the way that we do it? Can we actually... Uh, can we actually see it, it reminds me of the you know this idea is there actually math out there everywhere in the universe and galaxies that we've never that we've never seen any evidence of before but we know in theory that they're there do they are can you go out and find numbers and math there the is it made the universe made of math it reminds me of my conversation with peter salmon who's a uh, uh, biography author of the biography on Derrida called an event perhaps of course Derrida is one of my favorite 70s post-structuralist philosophers and Der he's and Simon was talking about Derrida's opinion uh, Derrida talking about Husserl's opinion now remember Husserl was the inventor of the phenomenology that Heidegger focused on and studied a lot and Husserl talked about the idea. I think he wrote. I think he wrote an essay about math or numbers, and he was talking about the idea that is there is the universe actually made of math? Do we go out to all corners of the universe and see math? And does math describe and allow you to manipulate the universe for your own needs? Like, can you use science to build things in all parts of the universe? Are you going to? You're, are you like? No, are you going to see numbers there or are numbers going to like physically help you do things with science? Who knows? Like that's kind of a faith claim to say in Andromeda 7, we know for a fact that science and gravity all work the same way throughout all of these parts of the universe. So yeah, I think that's really an interesting, important point. Do is we can try to do the best with what we have to describe what we what we see around us and to try uh, and use it. I'm not all that sure that mathematics is actually the best thing that we could come up. A lot of physicists seem to think this, like mathematics is best and it can do it, it can do it all. And basically they believe that reality is mathematics in mm. one way or the exactly. other. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm not in that camp. <laughs> yeah, like, a, like I was saying, and like- I'd us, say like we- like Husserl's saying, is the universe made of math? Is Does 2 plus 2 equal 4 over in like the Andromeda galaxy? Does it does 2 plus 2 equal 4 in all parts of the Andromeda galaxy? And, and like she was, uh, as she was saying there, is math, if we can, if we take it for granted that we can eventually discover the true nature of the universe and understand it fully, is math going to be the way that we can do it? Like she said, we can do the best with what we have. We can use 
science and math to try to figure out as much as we possibly can about physics and the true nature of the universe. But maybe there will at some point decide, maybe physicists will at some point reach a limit and science won't take them any farther. So there'll have to be some sort of new tool, some sort of new scientific tool that isn't math, maybe even one that people even thought of before, or it's maybe something that other physicists have thought of. But this is why I think Sabine Hassenfelder is interesting, even though I barely know much about her because she's a physicist who's saying that math is not reality. Like the universe is not literally made of math. It's just the working model that we use that helps, that works. It helps, it allows us to build spaceships and thrive, fly through space to other planets and send pro and send probes to other planets and explore a galaxy and take pictures of the universe and math and what is what science has accomplished with math and physics in discovering the true nature of the universe has been phenomenal but maybe there will be a natural limit at some point maybe there will be some sort of tool that the some sort of tool that no one has ever conceived of before that will help us figure help us figure out the true nature of the universe. So anyway, yeah, I like Sabine Hassenfelder's point that math is not reality. And like I was saying, it reminded me of Husserl's point that like in all parts of the universe is similar to a tree falling in the forest. If someone is, if no one is there to see a tree fall in the forest, does it make a sound? Well, I mean, obviously in that analogy, it does make a sound, we assume, but does that mean that we can assume in all parts of the universe in every single part, two plus two equals four, and math can help us understand the true entire nature of reality. So I think I agree with her. Math is not, math does not reveal to us the true nature of reality. We cannot use math, science, and physics to discover the true nature of reality. Math is not reality. Math is not real.